Okay, a little just dress up. So this is a big thing that we got into this year was just making up a personnel and formation package for the week. Make them learn a new formation and run fit against you for that week. Still just run, running split zone. So like a fourth down situation. So we break this out. So this is a brand new formation that we never show on a fourth down. And now you have a safety right here who's a sophomore that's been playing safety for, at that point, seven weeks. He's actually a quarterback. And the only reason I know that is that was actually the high school quarterback I had. So now we're blocking a safety at the line of scrimmage on fourth and, on fourth and short because of the new run fit. OK, so let's block it out. Fan, push, push, push. They should be trying to get through and get a foos call. So everybody, if they get a funky look like this and they got to push all these guys, they'll probably just call foos and everybody will step into their old school 45 degree angle track and know that it's probably going to get pushed out somewhere here backside. And he already knows, as you can tell by the way that he's already starting to open to it, he already knows that he's one-on-one -on -one with the safety. Even though that fullback gets up, gets up there and is able to get him because he washes him down. He should be actually trying to get his head play side. He just washes him down, and that allows him to get in there. But really, we don't have enough guys for everything. Okay, same thing. Now we're three by one into the boundary. Big one for us. Four two. Nice and simple. Just base out on that defensive end. Have his eyes up. That's actually not bad by that tackle to see that guy charging in. Center doesn't end up springing his feet and gets caught up because him and the guard don't freaking work off each other right. So let's watch these two knuckleheads. So base, he's probably pushing these two up to that stack. He's probably going to go by himself. T tackle should be looking to help on this three up to this backer and then base 95 backside. Yep, just stops his feet right there. Got to keep coming, go through him. But 74 is just lunging. So when 95 goes across his face, he doesn't keep bringing his feet, and then he has to wash him down right into the center and knocks him down. 35 falls back, but 26 is downhill. And that's where, game plan-wise, that's where the guy in the box has to see, hey, safety's playing at seven, eight yards. We got to go over the top. OK, same thing. Tempo play probably for us, like Coach, you were asking about, sometimes they're going to get us, is fit-wise, that's not enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and we got seven. Keep coming. This is a great job of him like identifying for that week, like, hey, they're all that close. I'm just going to say part of the zone. We're going to foos it out, which tells him he's part of it too. Quarterback will read that guy so we can unblock him. And then 17, again, a former quarterback is having to be part of the box. And as you see about kids buying in, common purpose, watch him right here. Calling for the same play again, just run it again. Who cares? Um, that's a big thing is our kids actually tell us to go faster most of the time. So they're just going to fooze it out again. Get in the crevice. Get what you can get. Play the next play. They're going to get you sometimes. Quarterback probably should be looking to throw fades to the outside guys when they get that type of box. OK, again, bringing a bunch of guys down. Going to fan it. They might have called foods last second here. Yeah, they bring everybody through. So when they call it, this is where he's got to be smart enough to hear it. When they get a foos call, he's just got to stay on this backside hip. See how he starts to look to base that guy out? He needs to just stay on it, even though there's nobody left for him to block because they fall back. 
but he's got to stay part of the zone. And to me, that's where like those guys that try to get all cute and do all that weird stuff is your kids just stay calm with it and trusting in, like, and to me, this is one of the big ones is when you're running zone, it's trust the foos call. If you don't like the front and you're the center, screw it, foos. Everybody just step play side and go. Like that's, to me, the biggest aha moment of our center's career was about a year ago when he was like, all right, I'm gonna stop trying to make everybody right. Foos, and then he'd snap the ball. Foos, snap the ball. And that's why we've been able to go faster is he just got tired of trying to make everything perfect is just live with it sometimes because then they have to get into more vanilla looks. What's Foos? Foos is just full zone. It's just tell, it, it basically tells everybody, so like you have your solo, your bass, your triple, your double, or whatever your zone calls are, is it just old school, like when like zone at the high school level first came out is 45 degree angle flop step or bucket step or whatever it is, and go. And when somebody shows up, that's who I got, all right? It's one of those things of just trust it that somebody's gonna show up and they almost always will, okay? Uh, another game to watch for a perfect example of is Tulsa, Virginia Tech in the bowl game this year, okay? Tulsa was freaking rolling up and down the field for most of the game. There is one, they're going into score, so they're inside like the 25 or something like that, and they call a long trap one back power play, and the tackle goes to double team, and the guy goes away from him, so he just stays on his track of gap down backer. Nobody showed up for like 12 yards, and he's still just going that way on his track, and the puller had nobody, so he just turned up, and it literally looked like two guys are just making a giant X in the middle of the field. It's actually the, probably one of the funniest things I've ever seen, but um, it's just trusting their track and doing what they need to do.